Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. Sorry it has been so long, I've been a bit busy as of late. However, I thought it would be interesting to look at each state in the United States have some interesting hidden lore. I will not focus on cities where any games were based, although Fallout and Fallout 2 may be an exception since their maps were so much larger and not as focused on any single city. Due to this, Las Vegas, Washington DC, and Boston won't be mentioned much in this video. I may, however, touch on some cities or places that were in the DLCs. In other words, I'm in charge here, so deal with it. I'm going to break this down by the Commonwealths. We know that in the Fallout universe, that the United States was broken up into 13 Commonwealths instead of the 50 states that we are now familiar with. So starting with the New England Commonwealth, which is comprised of Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, and Connecticut. Boston is the most well-known of any location in this commonwealth, and it itself is simply called the Commonwealth. Since this is the setting for Fallout 4, I won't dwell on this location. Unfortunately, it is also one of the few locations that we know anything about in the New England Commonwealth. Interestingly, in the Fallout 3 DLC mothership Zeta, a captive from 1697 who was abducted from Salem, left a recording at the bidding of his alien captors. Far Harbor appears in the DLC of the same name, and is the Mount Desert Island of Maine. Although it was not directly hit by any nuclear ordnance, it is highly affected by radioactive fog, which drives some of the conflict on the island. No other location in this commonwealth is specifically mentioned in Fallout lore. The Eastern Commonwealth is comprised of New York, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Delaware, and West Virginia. When looking at New York, what is entirely known about it centers around New York City. Historically, New York City was the headquarters of the UN, which was disbanded in 2052. The Fallout Bible states that in 2065, a large reactor that powered New York City went super critical, and although there was no damage done, it caused blackouts and subsequent power rationing in the city. New York may have been referenced in Fallout 4. In a holotape, a member of the Brotherhood of Steel references flying over large cities in the Pridwin, some of which were so tall that they thought they might touch the Pridwin as it flew over. Looking at the main cities between Boston and Washington DC, Baltimore, Philadelphia, and New York would have been seen by the Brotherhood. Speaking of such tall buildings, it is likely that they were referencing New York City. Many Fallout fans believe that New York City was bombed into oblivion and that nothing exists there anymore. However, this is not supported by any lore or any unofficial sources, including the Fallout Bible. Where this widespread belief came from, I'm unsure, but Washington DC still has enough buildings and interesting things that survived the war, and it is the capital of the United States likely the most sought after target during a nuclear exchange. It stands to reason that New York City would likely also have a certain level of infrastructure that would survive the war, despite being the most populous city in the US. When looking specifically at Philadelphia, one of the large East Coast cities, it seems to be one of the very first that was bombed. An emergency broadcast in Fallout 4 can be heard listing New York, Washington DC, Boston, and Philadelphia as receiving confirmed nuclear strikes. Considering we know many places throughout the US were struck, it is likely these were some of the first before the rest of the destruction would come. The Fallout 3 character Abraham Washington ran into a traveler from Philadelphia and commissioned him to recover the Liberty Bell, but it is not known whether this mission was a success or if the bell even survived the Great War. We also know of an individual who relocated from Philadelphia after the Great War to Appalachia. There is not much more known about the city, but it doesn't seem like it was uninhabitable after the Great War. Pittsburgh is featured prominently in the Pitt DLC in Fallout 3, so I will not include the city in this list. West Virginia is featured prominently in Fallout 76, and due to this, this section will be brief. It is interesting to note that Appalachia as a whole was not as hard hit as many of the other large industrial centers and population centers within the Eastern Commonwealth. This led to a number of people moving into West Virginia to escape the apocalypse, only to have the scorched plague devastate the area. Nothing seems to be mentioned about Delaware or New Jersey in any Fallout sources. 
Next, we're going to look at the Columbia Commonwealth, which consists of Washington, D.C., Maryland, and Virginia. Washington, D.C. is obviously the setting of Fallout 3, and therefore, I will be skipping over it. Maryland has a greater presence in Fallout 3 than I had initially thought. Many locations like Germantown, Olney, Hagerstown, Paradise Falls, and a number of others are actually located in what used to be Maryland. The Point Lookout DLC takes place in Maryland and shows that perhaps due to the close proximity to Washington DC, Maryland is a very inhospitable place with rampant mutation and radiation that has kept society at large from rebuilding. Virginia is another state that features more than I had previously known in Fallout 3. Communities like Andale, Fairfax, Norfolk, and even Megaton itself are located in former Virginia. We know from the comments of characters in the Fallout universe that Virginia was hit harder than most of Appalachia and has been picked clean. A large caravan company was started in Virginia, known as the Blue Ridge Caravan, and has been able to establish one of the safest trading areas we know of in the wasteland. The Southeast Commonwealth is comprised of North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia. North Carolina itself is not mentioned too many times in lore. The Museum of Technology in Fallout 3 talks about the Wright Flyer that flew in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. In the Anchorage Reclamation Simulation, many health dispensers are shown to have been produced in Charlotte, North Carolina by Lee Rapid Pharmaceuticals. What is interesting about these health dispensers is that they are only ever shown in the Anchorage Simulation where there are no stim packs available. It is unknown if these reflected real healing products or were simply the simulation's way of increasing health. If the latter is true, it is a mystery as to why they would be stamped as being produced by a fictitious company. South Carolina has ever fewer mentions, with the only real mention ever being in the Lonesome Road DLC, where it can be observed on the MRE packaging that they were produced in Mullins, South Carolina. Not much else is known about this location, and could represent a nice blank slate for some good Fallout lore. Georgia is also largely unknown, and is referenced in Fallout 4 on two occasions. The first is a quest to get some baseball memorabilia. A baseball card for Matt Murtaugh is found, who was from Atlanta. There was a man who worked as a foreman in Boston, and speaks in a terminal about his experiences fighting in the war overseas, and having started his career in Georgia. The Gulf Commonwealth consists of Florida, Alabama, Mississippi, and Louisiana. Florida was mentioned a few times in Fallout Tactics. Since the legitimacy of the lore in that game is in question, take this with a grain of salt. The Midwestern Brotherhood of Steel has established themselves in Florida and reported that mutant crocodiles were one of the most dangerous creatures out there. There was also a Gek that had been irradiated and therefore when it was activated, began to generate mutant plants and fungi. These mutant plants spread rapidly, consuming animals who use them as carriers for their spores and seeds. These mutant plants also present a danger to any humans living in the Florida wasteland. No other official sources of lore exist for Florida. Mississippi was mentioned in Fallout 4 in a terminal entry at General Brock's at Fort Strong. There was a location in Mississippi where a bunch of fat man launchers were meant to be sent, but it never happened because of the Great War. There isn't much else when referring to Mississippi, Louisiana, or Alabama. Although, truth be told, I would love to see a Fallout game take place in New Orleans. The East Central Commonwealth is comprised of Ohio, Kentucky, and Tennessee. A family that had lived in Ohio was abducted by Zetan aliens before the Great War. According to the recordings, they were all quite excited about the whole abduction experience. I hope that is not representative of most Ohioans. A portion of Fallout 76 takes place in Ohio, and the Silver Bridge landmark is one such location. As a side note, a plaque memorializing a tragic collapse of the bridge that killed many people in the 1960s is based on an actual event in our world. A character named Henry Hodges was introduced in the Operation Anchorage DLC, who had lived part of his life in Cleveland. Like with all things about the simulation though, it is hard to know what is actually true and what isn't. Kentucky was mentioned by name by John Henry Eden, the Fallout 3 AI president of the Enclave. He speaks of spending some of his time growing up in Kentucky, which is highly unlikely since he is not even a real person. It is likely that this was taken from Abraham Lincoln's childhood, 
in an attempt to make him more presidential. A company known as the Independent Arms Group was a Kentucky-based company that made the suppressor for the assault rifle in Fallout 4. There is also a family living in Kentucky as of 2103 that is involved with the previously mentioned Blue Ridge Caravan Company that operates in Appalachia. There's not much info about Tennessee, however, a musician that can be found in Fallout 76 is initially from Nashville and describes Appalachia as being the prettiest place he had been to since Nashville. This may indicate that Nashville and the surrounding areas were not as severely nuked, similar to West Virginia. The Great Midwest Commonwealth includes Wisconsin, Minnesota, Illinois, Indiana, and Michigan. Speaking generally, a character from the first Fallout, John Cassidy, says that there are massive mile-wide tornadoes and the Midwest itself is a giant radioactive dust bowl. This seems to extend beyond just this commonwealth and refers to the entirety of the Midwest. It is hard to know if this is truly accurate or if it's hyperbole, but it's solid lore unlike some of what I'm going to talk about next. Illinois features prominently in Fallout Tactics. The Brotherhood of Steel sent several groups across the US in an attempt to find fleeing mutants after the destruction of the Master. Several of the airships they were traveling in were downed over the Rocky Mountains, with some landing in Illinois, close to Chicago. The Brotherhood of Steel that landed here began the unorthodox practice of helping and recruiting from settlements in an effort to protect people from the threats of the wasteland. There seem to be some parts of this that are verified by Fallout 3. Scribe Jameson mentions Chicago as a place where the Brotherhood was engaged in fighting super mutants which seems at least to be a general confirmation of the events in Tactics. Fallout New Vegas confirms an Enclave outpost in Chicago, as Eddie's past adventures took him out to Chicago for repairs. Fallout 76 mentions Chicago in some letters referring to efforts being made to migrate out of the area towards Chicago. Before the Great War, the detective whose personality came to be loaded into the synth Nick Valentine lived in Chicago later transferring to the police department in Boston. Michigan is mentioned in Fallout 4 as the place where one of the films featured shortly before the Great War, Manzaloid vs. Roborilla, was being produced. Fallout 76 also mentions a character that claims that he may or may not be from Detroit. So uh, how about that for some solid lore, eh? Wisconsin, Minnesota, and Indiana are not mentioned in Fallout lore. The Plains Commonwealth consists of Nebraska, Kansas, Iowa, Missouri, and Oklahoma. Kansas was an important part of Fallout Tactics, so once again, it is unknown whether or not this is considered canon. Kansas seems to be the location of several military facilities and a Nuka-Cola factory. These areas became points of contention as the Midwestern Brotherhood began to establish themselves, help communities, and fight raider groups. The main villain of Tactics, known as the Calculator, was based in Fault Zero in Colorado, but commanded its forces to attack settlements in Kansas for his own nefarious purposes. Fallout 76 does mention some natives of West Virginia that got stuck in Kansas when their vacation coincided with the Great War. Nebraska is only mentioned when scribes were estimating the positions of the First Brotherhood Expeditionary Force from the Lost Hills to be in Lincoln, Nebraska after they lost contact. In Fallout 3, some Vault Tech rejection letters found in DC mention that there are vaults present in Oklahoma. Fallout New Vegas mentions some elite fighting centurions called the Red Oki Centuria, which is an unconfirmed connection to Oklahoma, as Okies commonly refer to someone from Oklahoma. Missouri is mentioned in Fallout Tactics, and like everything else, we can't be completely sure that it is all canon. However, St. Louis is portrayed as a super mutant stronghold that was taken in a fierce battle from the Midwestern Brotherhood. There was also a clan of nuke-worshipping ghouls in Kansas City that are mentioned. Iowa only has the briefest mention when the parents of Dr. Constance Nichols in Fallout 76 are mentioned to be from there. The Northern Commonwealth consists of Montana, Wyoming, North Dakota, and South Dakota. Wyoming seems to have had followers of the apocalypse travel through and settle into some of its territories. Depending on the ending of New Vegas, a couple other things may happen well after the Great War. Wyoming can become a large area for the Great Cons to move to after being pressured by the NCR. 
According to the end slides, if this happens, they will prosper greatly in these areas. After the Honest Hearts DLC, one situation can make the White Lakes tribe in Zion flee to the area formerly known as Wyoming, where many die during the winter and they are scattered. Montana is mentioned in passing as having an active coal mining industry. It is also confirmed that there is a Brotherhood of Steel bunker there. The companion McCready in Fallout 4 mentions a warehouse in South Dakota while searching warehouses with the sole survivor. However, it seems to be some sort of reference that I don't really understand. North Dakota escapes any mention in the Fallout series. The Texas Commonwealth is made up of Texas, which makes sense, and Arkansas, which makes slightly less sense. Unfortunately, Arkansas does not have any mentions, so sorry about that. Texas has a lot more information in the Fallout universe. Looking first at the pre-war, we know that a Chinese spy known as Shanghai Sally committed a string of carjackings as she was on the run from law enforcement. Making her way to Galveston, she was identified by a Red Rocket attendant and made a getaway on a stolen speedboat. The USS Wade opened fire on her, destroying the boat and killing her. We also know that the Boston baseball team was beating a team from Texas before the Great War ended their winning streak. And, to be honest, everyone else's winning streaks as well. Tycho, a companion from the first follow, mentions that he had traveled as far as the Gulf of Mexico in Texas. John Cassidy, a Fallout 2 companion, makes comments as to whether Texas survived the Great War, and after the game goes on to search for Texas, according to the Fallout 2 ending. According to Fallout Tactics, a large mutant army gathered in Texas after the Master's death, which ended up getting wiped out by the Brotherhood of Steel when they were found. The Brotherhood would go on to control many places that would then fall under attack by many raider groups, some of them falling into raider control. According to the original Fallout 3 known as Van Buren, Caesar was supposed to have moved east into Texas after his defeat at Hoover Dam. The Northwest Commonwealth is made up of Idaho, Washington, Oregon, Alaska, and Northern California. Alaska was the site of a Chinese invasion and very intense fighting. 2066 was the start of the Chinese invasion and it took the US years to push the Chinese back out. This was, of course, primarily due to the fact that Alaska was one of the last places to have substantial oil, in a time when oil was scarce and there was energy scarcity. In Fallout Tactics, the Brotherhood of Steel moved up into Alaska and took advantage of the military facilities from the war with China. They became brutal and authoritarian, prompting resistance from the wastelanders that they had subjugated. Washington is only known in the Fallout universe as being the base for a company that was sending junk mail to Appalachia, trying to scam people by saying that they were eligible to claim $100 million. Even with the crazy Fallout inflation, that is a lot of money. Unofficial canon, since it was in Fallout Tactics, says the flora and fauna of Washington and Oregon was heavily impacted by radioactivity, and biological agents that caused them to almost have a prehistoric landscape where survivors had created medieval-like townships. Oregon was partially represented in Fallout 2, so we know some of the happenings after the Great War. Arroyo was a city located in former Oregon that was founded by the Vault Dweller from the first Fallout and is the starting location in Fallout 2. Following the events of Fallout 2, Arroyo prospered due to a Gek and later would become under control of the NCR. In Fallout Tactics, Oregon is the orig In Fallout Tactics, Oregon is the origin of a group called the Cause that fought off the Brotherhood of Steel oppression and their influence stretches up into Alaska. We also know of a resident of Oregon that was abducted by Zetans during the pre-war times. After Fallout New Vegas, the Cons may move up into Wyoming and Idaho to set up a new sphere of influence. In Fallout Tactics, a monastery called the Abbey is located in Idaho. They are similar to the Brotherhood of Steel in that they collect old technology, however they are far less militant and they openly share their technologies. Northern California is heavily represented in the first fallouts, therefore we know a great deal of what happened in this area. I'm not going to go through all the events of the first two fallout games, however we know that the NCR would come to dominate these areas during their expansion following fallout and fallout 2. A large group of people, known as the Shi, were descendants of Chinese sailors from an old submarine that broke down and caused them to settle around San Francisco. 
How exactly this was able to happen is not entirely clear. The four states commonwealth is my personal favorite since I am from this area and consists of Colorado, Utah, Arizona, and New Mexico. This area has a lot of lore implications because of its proximity to the events of Fallout, Fallout 2, and Fallout New Vegas. New Mexico has the least information, but we know that Caesar claims to own all or nearly all of the area of former New Mexico, and even has some slaves that you can meet that corroborate his claim. In Fallout Van Buren, there is a ghoul settlement called the Reservation that was built on the remains of the Los Alamos National Laboratory. This community secretly wished to strike out at the wasteland in the name of ghoul supremacy, and were trying to repair a large nuclear artillery cannon and doing research into born ghouls, or ghouls that could be born from ghoul parents. Colorado is spoken of in Fallout New Vegas, but was supposed to be very prominent in Van Buren. We know the Legion controls at least the southeastern portion of Colorado, taking over the Hang Dogs tribe and Denver, which is now known as Dog City. It also was a costly venture for the Legion, and caused them to slow their expansion for some time between 20 278 and 2281. New Vegas included some of the ideas that were laid out in Van Buren, including Denver being overrun by dogs. According to Van Buren, Denver had it pretty rough pre-war. They suffered from a large poison gas cloud from a nearby military arsenal and also suffered severe food shortages. The new plague also originated there, making a bad situation already worse. Many different nomadic tribes popped up after the Great War probably owing to the incredible destruction of Denver. Caesar's Legion would be encountered here in Colorado as well, although not in any serious capacity. Arizona was the birthplace of the Legion, according to Fallout New Vegas. Post-war Arizona was particularly savage and raiders were omnipresent and very violent. It was in this environment that Caesar, then known as Edward Sallow, began training and militarizing locals and began to build the Legion. The Desert Rangers were a group of vigilantes who had a presence in Arizona, but were pushed out by the Legion and eventually made an agreement to join the NCR. The NCR itself does not hold a lot of territory in Arizona, mostly due to the Legion menace. From the Dead Money DLC we learn of the Sierra Madre Hotel and Casino that are located near the Grand Canyon, therefore probably located somewhere in Arizona. Fallout Van Buren wanted to show the Grand Canyon as being an extremely inhospitable area populated by cannibal mutants because the pre-war government found uranium in the area and let companies ravage the land to mine as much of it as they could due to the energy crisis. Fallout New Vegas mentions that Caesar controls most of Utah, with characters like Volpes and Colta being from the former state of Utah. An eyewitness account from Randall Clark that can be found in the Honest Hearts DLC Mentioned Salt Lake City was hit with 13 nuclear bombs and thoroughly destroyed. The survivors of the Great War created a new settlement that they named New Canaan, which grew and traded with neighboring tribes and was predominantly Mormon. They sent missionaries to other parts and neighboring tribes, one of which was the fan favorite Joshua Graham. Caesar attacked and destroyed New Canaan because of his paranoia surrounding Joshua Graham and the fact that he survived his execution. Many of Utah's national parks seem to be fairly protected from the destruction of the Great War as seen in the Honest Hearts DLC and are occupied by tribal settlements. According to Van Buren, the original survivors of Salt Lake that took refuge in Vault 70 established the settlement of New Jerusalem. Under religious leadership, they were isolationalist and eventually led to outside groups attacking and destroying New Jerusalem. The remnants were taken up north to northern Utah where they resettled New Canaan. The Southwest Commonwealth is made up of Nevada, Southern California, and Hawaii. Not much is known about Hawaii other than it had an established military presence that was active during the Sino-American War. I personally think this could be an awesome location for a future Fallout game, especially given how little lore is established here. Southern California features prominently in the first two fallouts. We know shortly after the Great War, many residents of San Diego migrated towards Los Angeles because of the damage sustained by the city. Between these two cities, the latter of which became known as the Boneyard, was a large area called the Glow, which was the ruins of the West Tech Research Facility. After the events of the first fallout, the NCR grew out of its humble beginnings in Shady Sands and would eventually grow 
sometimes violently and sometimes non-violently, to encompass all of Southern California. The hub was a large trading settlement where a group known as the Water Merchants were very influential, and it was due to them that people were paying with caps. As the NCR took over, the dominant currency would shift toward a more conventional type backed by gold. The Brotherhood of Steel and the Super Mutants from Mariposa Military Base all originated in this area as well, having their conflicts in and expanding or fleeing into surrounding areas. Nevada is heavily represented in Fallout 2 and is largely desolate except for scattered communities and some large settlements like New Reno and Vault City. The Desert Rangers operated in Nevada after getting pushed out of Arizona and Utah by the Legion and were assimilated by the NCR. New Vegas was occupied by several tribal groups and was not how it appears in Fallout New Vegas. As the NCR looked to expand through the Mojave and to take New Vegas and the Hoover Dam, Mr. House sprung into action, convincing the large tribes to coalesce around him and his Securitrons, creating the three families that are seen on the Strip. The NCR returns with its army and a deal is struck, where New Vegas is granted autonomy while the NCR can use the surrounding areas and the Hoover Dam. This is where they encountered and fought the Legion for the first time, stopping their expansion after the first battle of the Hoover Dam and setting up the scene for the second battle that is seen at the climax of New Vegas. The area known as the Divide that was shown in the Lonesome Road DLC was a route from Southern California to New Vegas. It was heavily militarized with nuclear warheads and unintentionally destroyed by the courier when he unwittingly brought a detonator to the area. This was an area that was of strategic importance and therefore there was fighting between the NCR and the Legion, all the way up to the moment that it was all destroyed. The Divide also served as an important conduit for the NCR into the West and its destruction delayed their advance and caused supply shortages. That is the pre and post war lore of the 50 states from the Fallout universe. I would highly recommend playing all the games so that you can know some of the more in-depth lore surrounding some of the areas that the games take place in. This was a less in-depth look at the lore at each of the states, so if you really want to know what happens with some of the groups and events that I mentioned, play the games and experience it for yourself.